Hey guys, how's everyone doing? Uh, it's Josh here. I hope everyone had an amazing Thanksgiving. I'm here with a real quick impromptu video. I'm sorry I haven't been on much this month, but uh, November was a real busy month for me in addition to it being, you know, the start of the holiday season. Um, we had some home renovations. We actually got new flooring in four bedrooms and uh, our living room. So it all in one day, so getting all the rooms prepped and ready and cleaned out for uh, that was particularly taxing. And um, getting, uh, trying to get set up a whole new like video streaming area for me. So I had to do this temporary setup. I know it looks similar, but it's not. I'm in a completely different room right now with none of my stuff, but I got this in today. If you remember, I did a video not too long ago where I reviewed some Stone Ninja covers that I got. I'm a real big fan of the series. Um, Love reading it, love talking to the um, uh, creator, the author, it was really awesome. One of the things that I didn't have was one of the sketch covers, so I decided to get my very first sketch cover done, and that is what's in here along with a few other goodies that I got. Uh, I wanted to do a video opening it because I want my very first time me seeing it to be on video. Uh, this was the very first time. If, you want, if you're interested in a sketch cover, you can actually go to their website. I will put... Um, a link in the description. Uh, you can get a random sketch, I think for $20, and you can get a custom sketch for $40. Um, this one was a little more intricate, so I paid a little extra, but uh, hey, you get what you pay for with quality. Um, I saw a pencil uh, update of it, and it looked absolutely amazing, but I have not seen it fully pinned. So this will be the first time me seeing it. Uh, really excited. I don't know if it's on top or bottom. Okay, let's get the Gemini mailer out of the way. Let's get the knife out of the way. <laughs> let's see. Ooh, already seeing some real cool um, Extras guy he threw in a pack of papers really cool love these guys love the art on them. I think that's a very cool um, Collectible these are some new gummies some CBD gummies. They're doing new strain of hero You can scan that QR code get more information about where to get these gummies. I love how soft they are They're not like really hard like some of the gummies you see. Oh, sorry. I got some permanent marker ink Really cool Love having those. All right, oh, this is awesome. This was a whatever exclusive uh, variant cover that I found. Um, looking through just some pictures of Stone Ninja. So uh, really wanted to get this. Uh, it was one of the few covers that I didn't have. I ended up getting two of those. Oh, I see the remnants of the sketch cover in the bottom. I'm gonna try to, there, yeah, we're gonna go from there. So we know the next one's there. I want it to be the last one I see, so. All right, I saw these. I snagged some more of the uh, Stone Ninja number ones. You cannot actually get these on his website anymore, so if you're lucky enough to have access to a local comic book store that has these, then um, snag one, man, because I really think these are what you're gonna see uh, shoot up in price. Another one there, both signed by uh, Greg, the um, author, Gabe, the artist. I got that backwards. Gabe the author, Greg the artist. Sorry, two G names. Um, next, we have this right here. Was really happy. Big shout out to 901 Comics for helping me get this. Um, right here is the 901 Comics anthology where they printed with a bunch of local artists. And this was technically the very first appearance of Stone Ninja right there. Love it. Signed by Gabe and Greg. Absolutely awesome. Really thicker than I did. So that officially has all of it. All the um, covers and all the exclusives and all of the, the and then the first appearance. And here it is. All right, guys, are you ready? It's a, it's a little different. So um, let's see what it looks like. Boom. Oh, wow. Look at that. It came out absolutely awesome. I'll talk about it. Just give me one second. Wow, that looks so cool. So yeah, Stone Ninja. Um, this was number three, the um, uh, sketch cover. Uh, one of my, my requests was, of course, to do the S 
right there to make it stone ninjas and i want it to be a collaboration of some really cool ninjas from you know comic books and media that you know i liked of course i wanted the stone ninja in the uh center we got michelangelo from the teenage mutant ninja turtles we've got the white tommy is the white ninjetti ranger we got uh poe from kung fu panda i really loved sharing that series with my child and we got naruto um wow this came out absolutely amazing look at it they did after blevins austin signed it gabe right there wow really great if you if you if this looks familiar then you're you're probably remembering the uh hamilton uh number one power ranger cover that i've talked about several times that's what i sent him for reference i wanted it a parody of that but with um the characters i chose out i love how the ninja the stone ninja came out wow y'all that is absolutely awesome look at that might actually be getting this signed. I haven't really decided. I don't know if signatures will take away from it, but I was considering getting this signed. I'm actually going to see the voice actor for uh, Michelangelo at uh, Pensacon, and I will eventually see uh, Jason David Frank again. Wow. All right, guys, um, that's pretty much the end of the video. Just uh, going over. I'm just a little shocked by how awesome it came out. Of course, we got the whatever exclusive variants right there, both signed two of those. We got the 901 Comics Anthology right there. Really happy to find that signed. Um, we got the two Stone Ninjas, New Strain Heroes, number ones signed. Um, what this is going to do is this is going to launch up my next giveaway. I talked about doing giveaways. My next giveaway is going to be a Stoned Ninja comic giveaway. I'm going to be giving away these number ones. I'm going to be giving away uh, one of the whatever exclusive comment variants. Uh, there's going to be extras thrown in like papers and stickers and just really cool things like that. So be on the lookout for that. Uh, I'll probably be announcing that at the start of December. Uh, to make up for no giveaway on the month of November, I'm going to do multiple giveaways in the month of December. So make sure to be on the lookout for that. Thanks for watching and uh, see you guys next time. Hey guys, before I end the video, I just wanted to show a few behind the scenes pictures of the sketch cover being made. Uh, first up, here is the crude Photoshop picture that I sent uh, the artist uh, to kind of, you know, show him where I wanted the characters and everything. I just whipped it up on MS Paint. It looks rather pathetic. Um... But, you know, it worked. Next up is a picture of the uh, full pencil sketch. Uh, looked really nice in pencil, but I chose to do, you know, inks. I could have went with colors, but I wanted it to look like a sketch cover. I didn't want it to look like a, a you know, real comic book cover. And uh, last up is a short video that the Stone Ninja Facebook page posted to their page of the artist actually working on the um, sketch cover. Here it is. And that's all I have. I uh, just wanted to say one last thank you to Stone Ninja and everyone affiliated with it. Huge thank you to Gabriel Duranzo, the uh, uh, writer. Uh, big thank you to Greg Cravens. You did some amazing work on this sketch cover. I will cherish it forever. It will never leave my hands. Um, big thanks to Bad Dog Comics for publishing it. Uh, wish nothing but the best for um, this whole comic book and everyone involved. Uh, be on the lookout for the giveaway. Uh, I can't wait to share some of these comic books with a few special winners. And again, if you're interested in checking it out, make sure to go to their website. Um, got a lot of really good covers. You can't get the number one anymore, so don't sleep on these other ones. Uh, I hear there's going to be a big relaunch soon uh, where they're going to update some of the art in the first two comic books and then relaunch them. So these, the number one and the number twos, I think are going to be great collector's items, especially if this franchise takes off. Uh, that's it, guys. See you next time.